Welcome to Papa's Workshop. In today's video, I am super excited to show you this. In this video, yes, I'm doing ceramic tile engraving, but not just any engraving. This is extreme fine detail that I'm doing. The pelican in the center is actually done with lines. It's not a fill. And today I want to be able to show you exactly how I was able to achieve this type of detail. And it's very, very easy to do. So let's get started. It never ceases to amaze me the level of detail that you can achieve with the diode laser. Now that letter is 1.23 millimeters high. That's extremely small. Now I went over and looked at the Fox Alien website and looked at their compression type laser beam and this is the information that it gives to you. That is amazing. I have used this file before. The last time that I engraved this I was using this on a 11 and a quarter by 11 and a quarter piece of wood and it engraved amazing. The only change that I made is I reduced this down to three inches and by making it three inches obviously everything in here is much smaller. The biggest concern that I had is this pelican in the center actually is a line. This portion is a line. It is not set up as a fill. And I still kept it at the 20 uh, inches per minute with the 60% power. And I went ahead and engraved that first because I wanted to see what it would look like. And then I came back and engraved the second portion, which was the fill, which is the green area. Now, just to show you how amazing the laser is, I did this project back on Labor Day. Now, this is actually done on poplar and of course it's much bigger. The size of this one was actually 18 inches by 9 inches. Now this was done on the Fox Alien riser laser and I actually had to split it and do it in two different sections because of the size of the laser. Well today we're going to be able to do both the ceramic tile and to show you that this larger project could be done on the Fox Alien riser but this is the Mega. This is the large version. And I'm going to go ahead and open this box up and show you and set this one up and do that first engrave with this laser. To assemble this machine, it really has a minimum amount of screws and parts that you need to put together. It's really extremely easy to do. All of the major components are already assembled. The control board is already preset and on. And this is a 32-bit controller. The Y-axis is actually completely pre-assembled and the only thing I need to do is be able to put this little M5 um, screw on with the little T-nut and I do that on each side and then this aluminum rod will slip into that and basically you're done. Now with that screw and that T-nut in place all I need to do is just take this aluminum rod and just slip it right into that slot. It's really no more complicated than that. Now I'm going to loosely tighten it up until I get everything done and set. Then I'll go around and tighten everything. Now you have a little anti-skid uh, strip to be able to put on. And this actually helps more than I thought it would. Because it gives just enough friction to be able to keep the machine from sliding. And it's really easy to put on. I just literally lifted up the machine and set it right back down onto the center of this little rubber strip. Once it had that in position, I just lifted it up and stuck it to both sides of the acrylic base. And that's it. It's done. It doesn't get any easier than this. Now I have this M5 screw that needs to go into the end. Now this is all pre-drilled, pre-threaded, all you have to be able to do is just screw it into position. Once this is tight and secure, this really stabilizes the machine and you can go around and confirm and tighten all of the screws. Now the last thing that I like to do is to make sure that it's square. So I take the tape measure and on this machine I can measure from one corner to the opposite diagonal corner and then check the measurement on the other side. It's amazing. It is exactly the same. No adjustments necessary, it's perfectly square. 
Now all I need to be able to do is hook up the electronics and everything is already run. Now that little wire was stuffed inside of there so I need to have a little bit of help getting it out. But it's there and it was easy to be able to get. So all I need to do is just match up the uh, labels and plug it in. Now once I had that one wire out, I could go ahead and use the screws and there's two screws on each side that hold the uh, gantry in position. Now once I had this wire that was out and free, it just slips through the hole and then I can just put the gantry up and tighten the screw. It's a very, very easy process. Now remember there's two screws here and there's two screws on the other side that need to be tightened. And then I just simply plug in the wire into the stepper motor. Now before I completely tighten the screws on each end of the gantry, I do take the triangle and verify that it is completely plumb to the table itself. This is a very important step. I like to make sure that the machine, of course, is perfectly square and I want to make sure that the gantry is plumb to the surface of the table. It just makes for a more accurate setup and I just have a habit of doing that. Now, the last step, let's just go ahead and attach the laser to the um, Z-axis and for that you have the pre-drilled holes in the laser and it's just a matter of attaching its plate and screwing it on to the uh, z-axis. Now again these screws were actually pre-drilled into the laser and the acrylic uh, mount was all set up and on the z-axis itself you again had the four screws all pre-drilled ready to just simply screw in the screws and you don't really have to do anything else. There's no adjustment here at all to be able to do it. Now I really like the fact that they've added the colored shield to the laser. This definitely helps to protect the eyes, but please don't forget you still must wear the glasses whenever you're operating the laser. Now that the laser is fully attached, all we need to do is just plug it in. The wire is already right there for you and all you need to do is just plug it in. Now let's move over to the control board and do the same exact thing. Everything is completely labeled for you, so all we need to do is just literally plug in the different wires to the control board. And the fact that everything is clearly labeled, it makes it very, very easy to be able to assemble this portion of it. There's no guesswork. One last quick check to make sure that everything is plugged in exactly as it should, and we're ready to test it out. Now this first test, I wanna go ahead and use the offline controller and see how that works with the Fox Alien uh, riser mega unit and I'm just going ahead I turned on the controller I set it up so it'll move at 10 millimeters and then I can actually control the machine with this offline controller and you can see it is working just exactly as it should so I'm very impressed with that I'll be using this later in other videos but for now I want to go ahead and switch over and we're going to be using light burn to be able to adapt one file, to be able to use it for multiple projects is amazing. And this is an excellent example. The only thing that I did is resize this and change the power since I was working with the ceramic tile. So the options that you have in your shop are truly limitless. It's really only left to your imagination. Now for the fun part. We need to go ahead and set the Z-axis up and I have this 30 millimeter spacer to be able to confirm that. And then I'm going to go ahead and align the laser directly in the center of this because I use the center as my origin point which is my XY0 position. And I have a tiny little pencil line that actually has the X right there in the center of the tile. So with the fire button on I can adjust it and then I'm going to close down the uh, shield so that it'll help protect the eyes. Now as far as the preparation of the tile itself, it's done exactly the same way that I did the compass rose in the previous video. I'll put a link up above so that you can take a look at that video. But it's simply a matter of cleaning the tile with the denatured alcohol and then spray painting it. Now I use the Rust-Oleum two times white 
and it works extremely well. Now for this design, I wanted to start out only with the line portion of that pelican. I wasn't sure if it was going to pick up the detail. So I did not want to waste a whole lot of time engraving the tile and not having it work. So at this point, that's all that it's engraving. Now it looks good to me. I'm not going to be able to see the complete image until I completely clean the tile. But I think it looks good enough to be able to proceed on. So I went ahead and turned on the output for the fill for the rest of the badge and I'm going to start this process. Now this is looking really really good. Now of course I did not engrave the pelican the second time. I turned that layer off. So all this engraving is that green which is the badge itself. Okay let's take a look at it. Now I'm using the lacquer thinner to be able to clean off the tile and the steel wool. So I just went ahead and soaked it. We're going to rub this across the tile. It will remove any of the remaining white uh, paint that was sprayed on. And all it will leave is the image that's burned into the ceramic tile. And this is a very easy process. It only takes a couple minutes to be able to do. Then I'm going to take a damp uh, paper towel that has soaked in the uh, lacquer thinner and just clean off any remaining residue. And from here, we can start to see the beauty of what this laser is capable of doing. The detail is just absolutely amazing. It doesn't get any better than this. I am thrilled to death with it, and I know my son's going to love it too. Thank you for watching today. I really hope that you liked this video, and if you did, please give me a thumbs up. Also, while you're there, hit that subscribe button and the little bell notification so that you'll be notified on the different videos that I'm uploading. So until next time, I want to be able to say to each and every one of you, thank for watching, and I look forward to seeing you on the next videos that I'm doing and whatever projects that I'm working on in the shop.